part 10 in the final video in the Hamkas Kloof covers the 6 km section from the Cape Nature campsites to Fontaineplas guest farm. Most of this section of Dehel is through dense riverine bush and includes several crossings of the river via stony drifts or low level concrete bridges. The vegetation is surprisingly lush considering that this is officially part of the Klein Karur but over the last 200 years this valley has always enjoyed the benefit of perennial water. Keep a sharp lookout for animals on the road and down at this lower altitude the presence of baboons is almost guaranteed. But the biggest danger here is driving into a kudu. These large and sturdy antelope are notorious for jumping in front of vehicles at the last possible moment. They're almost impossible to spot with their camouflage colors in the thick bush and at night it's common to hear them stomping around the campsites. The southern ridges of the Swartberg are split by several deep cliffs. As you drive westwards these will be on your left hand side and include Grootkloof followed logically by Kleinkloof, then Tierkloof, Pampunkloof and finally the major cliff, which is of course the Hamkapurt itself. Three medical doctors purchased the farm Kleinberg in 1984 and later Boerplas in 1988 from the Mostert families. Shortly thereafter they convinced the then Cape Nature Conservation to buy the remaining land to save the Kloof for prosperity before it would have been reclaimed by nature. Dr. George Allwright sold his share in the late 1990s to Johann Zeimann, an engineer from George. After five and a half kilometers from the entrance gates at the hill, there are two intersections. Keep right in both cases and suddenly the buildings at Fontaineplas guest farm pop into view. This is owned by Anneke Joubert who returned to the hill to the family farm to set up a shop, restaurant, guest cottages, a caravan park and campsites. The hospitality at Fontaineplas is legendary where you can enjoy home cooked meals at the restaurant or even have them delivered to your cottage or campsite. In recent times the farm has been producing a new type of tea called honeybush tea which you can sample at the restaurant. The leaves are chopped, dried and baked right on the premises next to the farmhouse. In the shop you can purchase a wide range of homemade jams, pickles, preserves and other delicious farm fresh produce and the organic eggs have the yellowest yolks compared to what one normally buys at a supermarket. The main building which is under thatch was built using a local type of olinote which is quaintly crooked but incredibly strong and hard wood. Around the lush green lawns the property is surrounded by an eclectic collection of very old cars, a moped dating back to the 1960s, a vineyard, a succulent garden and a red border collie that plays a never-ending stalking game with a rescued rooster which is just one of Anaki Jabeir's many pets. Anaki is the last of the true clovers who chose not to sell the family farm and returned to the clove to set up the facilities you see here today. Take the time to chat to her and she'll recall her early life in the hell and straighten the facts of the many urban legends that have developed around uh, this strange and isolated know. place. Misschien met, met, met jouw familie? Oh, uh, uh, die mosterd met die thee. Stronger than mustard with the thee. Because they've been Dutch people. And uh, anyway, they're not the mosterd with the thee because they're stronger. And uh, most of my, from my father's yeah. side, the mustards with the tea, they came from, from Holland, Netherlands. And that's why this um, hell, the name, it become from that descended, you know, the descending. An Engels the near dal. That's why they've been saying near dal ter helle. That's the de, de helling in Dutch. Near, descending is helling. Mm. Yeah, lots of things happen here and uh, what all has been very carefully protected by all the people here. You know, when people like him come and he want to uh, go to interview, then uh, you, you do it with your heart and innocent, everything that being the truth, and then they do right just the opposite. Mm. And that was warm, the means uh, the in marriaging and stuff here, yeah. that was by a na and the means is a Want ik heb met elke een van die mensen het ik onderhouden gevoel. En dat was wonderlijk. Als ik niet met hulle kalvers kan ploeg, zoals wat ik vandaag doe, met al die goede buitenkant wat ik maak, 
Kinder. Dann so ich nur gut an die Kiel. Mostert, du wärst. Mm -hmm.